lovers and patriots and lovers watch out. There is a new kind of evil about both family men and no mates of their own. Don't let the octopus into your home. That's our message from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any ideas about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard copies up north. It's a metaphor, you see. I tell ya, I love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life down there. All those good, stout-hearted Americans with jobs in their minds and capitalism in their hearts. We've got a special guest I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Now, what's a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I want to do that myself sometimes, Charles. Francis, I made your favorite meatloaf sandwich Mom, with- I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh, okay. Well, I love you. Are you tired of feeling taken for granted? You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos at the old ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? Hmm. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. Yes, this truly is the American dream. Happy home, happy life, and happy wife. And what could be happier? We'll be back with more tales from all around the greatest country on Earth after these messages. Huh? It might be time to lay off the morning wine. Ugh, even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up.
ready? Sure. Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, dinner can't come fast enough. But when they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. And what a wonderful day it was! And if we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't forget, anyone who wants different is a threat to our country. Be sure to report any strange happenings to... What? If I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door again, I'll scream. Or, I would, if he didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. More bacon for me. Oh, what a feeling. Good morning, America. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny, considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night that certainly didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. In other news, does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. Francis, don't forget your lunch. Next time, can you make lunch like Timmy's mom does? She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I... <sighs> I never do. Today's broadcast brought to you by Houston Enterprises' new vacuum cleaner. With brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner longer. But not too long, or you ladies back home would have nothing to do. We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say hello to America, Susan Jones. Hi, Charles. It's a pleasure to be here. Susan Jones? Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Now, Susan, you're a mother, PTA president, and baker extraordinaire. Oh, I don't know if I'd say extraordinaire. I just know what I'm doing when some others <laughs> struggle a bit more. Sure, Susan. All right, that's definitely not normal. Any second now, Charles from PMCR Radio is going to knock on the door and tell me this is all a weird prank show segment. And Susan will be there too. She'll marvel at how I haven't cleaned up before letting in company. Your plates were floating. Mine had booked a plane ticket to Kingsport. I had to walk the whole way there to catch them and I still made it back in time to make dinner. Dinner's ready. In a minute. In a minute. Ugh. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange. And don't forget...
Well, I prefer floating bacon to floor bacon. Though I can't say I'm a huge fan of either. Another day in American paradise. The greatest country on earth. Don't forget, everything's completely fine. Today's program is brought to you by... And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy on your neighbors. Hope you have a good day at school. Have a good day at work, dear. Kirsten vacuum, they said. It will have your carpet sparkling like new! Yeah, yeah, give me a ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. Yes, BE Magazine is here. Please take me away to a world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. Silver bullets, huh? You know what? Sure. Better safe than sorry. If only I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Hey, whatever entity is doing this, please stop. I don't need any more cleaning to do. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. In a minute. In a minute. I should start cooking for the entity in the house. Maybe it will appreciate my cooking. I can't tell if that's a yes or a no. I'm going to say no. Good evening, 
listeners. Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all. For you night owls out there, here's the evening news. That storm out by the Atlantic seems to have cleared up. The Navy is setting out to investigate, to make sure it isn't something... else. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house. <laughs> oh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other unusual behavior. Good morning, everyone. Every day is a clean slate, a brand new start. Breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I can drive Timmy's you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Bye, honey. Strange. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Oh, boy. From Susan? What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has elders demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow, isn't that just so thoughtful of her? Okay, that's actually useful? Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked just for you. And now, a public service announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your community. I don't need you calling me out, too.
I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting my training cards. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. And five down is control for target area. Those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlie. So close. Be sure to be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. I'll be fine, Mom. Timmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Timmy's mom is going to make me brownies after. Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's all right. I'll pick up pizza for me. Oh, perfect. My bullets are here. Now, I might not have a gun, and most sources say you need a gun to use bullets, but now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. Okay. 
podcast is brought to you by The Stars Are Right, your number one guide to the stars being right. Also providing services like seeing if the stars are right and making sure that the only ones to send upon the world. Podcast, what do you mean they're not a sponsor? The stars are right. The stars are right. It's right here. The stars are right. The stars are right. The stars are right. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that the, the old ones are returning, returning and they're turning their boat to the second city of Hulk, yeah, and the calamari is on sale at Gigamart today, 50% off. Oh, we're on air now? Hello, everyone. Calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. Add a bit of extra kick to your morning smoothie with some tasty sea life. Delicious. Actually, that doesn't sound delicious at all. Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work providing for your families. And hey, maybe your wives can take a break, too. I'm gonna play poker with the guys. I'll be back late. Timmy found a weird bat lizard by the creek. We're gonna go poke it with a stick. Hey, don't. Susan should pay more attention to her kid. Okay, this has gone on long enough. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm sick of all this. It's hard enough to do all the work around here and I don't need you making it worse for me. I've spent my whole life cleaning up other people's messes and I'm not taking it worse to I'm ending this, once and for all.
ancient ones will once more rise, disrupting our existence to plan the frivolous things of all. Ugly slob catch. Hey, you hey, 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 A beautiful day in American paradise. A lovely country with a lovely radio station host that may have just been put on sick leave for a month because of erratic behavior. Strangely, I feel much better, but I'm not going to turn down a free vacation. In any case, sayonara, America. I'll see you again once I'm done sipping pina coladas in Bermuda. Well, that takes care of that. new honey i'm off to work oh and when i get home i want to talk to you frankly the house has been a mess this week susan's mentioned that she's seen all sorts of things through the windows and you're not really making this a structured environment for francis we both know that you need to clean more but i want to find a solution that works for you happy wife happy life right is that so <laughs> and patriots and lovers watch out there is a new kind of evil about both family men and always on their own don't let the octopus into your home when you find that life has got you down take a moment and just look around all your neighbors are doing much better than you so why can't you just smile and be happy too daily chores feel quite possessed is your house in a state of unrest your marriage is just fine that's not the problem at all the problem is you haven't swept the hall so just say it's okay it's the american way ignore all the strife you are the perfect Exception is the thing we all fear. Whispers and screams let us know he is near. If you feel somehow that you're not alone, you know the octopus is in your home. When you find your house covered in slime, things move and change with no reason or rhyme. You'd better act fast or you'll have an ungodly man. One is your newest house guest. Tidy up quick, nobody can know. Your one goal, maintain the status quo. What would Susan say if she saw your house like this? Clean up after your friend from the abyss.